on the path of blood through our body, uh, this quiz is going to be 30 answers. 15 of them is just listing in words the path that the blood takes. And then the other half is a diagram labeling those parts where they are uh, in the diagram, in the heart. So blood enters our right atrium from the body and it enters by way of the two largest veins that we have, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. So that's how blood enters our heart and it enters into the right atrium. So the next place that the blood goes is the right atrium. From the right atrium it goes through a valve. Remember valves control the flow of blood in the heart and in the body. So it's going through the tricuspid valve it's an AV valve because it's been in between an atrium and a ventricle. And then so the blood is going into the right ventricle. Remember the atrium is a collection chamber. The ventricle is the pump. What kind of blood is it? It's deoxygenated, oxygen poor blood that has come from our bodies because in the bodies the cell has been taking uh, the oxygen and giving up its carbon dioxide. So then it has to go through another valve to be pumped out of the heart and that valve is named after the artery in which the blood is going to flow. So from the right ventricle it's going to have to go to the lungs, so that's pulmonary. So it goes through the pulmonary valve and enters the pulmonary artery. The artery is taking that deoxygenated blood to the lungs so that it beca can become oxygenated and that oxygen-rich blood, that oxygenated blood, is going to come back to the heart by way of the pulmonary vein. And it's going to go to a collection chamber, which is on the left side of the heart, so it's the left atrium. It's going to go through the mitral valve, which is an AV valve, because it's controlling the flow of blood from the atrium to a ventricle. So next the blood goes to the biggest pump, because it's oxygenated into the left ventricle. It's going to go out of the heart into the largest artery that we have, so it's going to go through the semilunar valve that is named after that artery, the aortic valve, through the aorta and into the body. And then, of course, it's going to make its way back up to the heart by way of the vena cavas. So here's with words. Blood enters through the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery to the lungs back from the lungs by way of pulmonary veins into the left atrium through the mitral valve into the left ventricle through the aortic valve and into the aorta and to the body. And here's a blank diagram for you to practice with and also give you some that are printed out. 